Tomorrow's a recycling day, so that means today's an unboxing day. Hey guys, so I've got a lot of boxes behind me to unbox for you guys. Two of them are orders that I placed myself, the rest is PR. So why don't we go ahead and get started with the things that I ordered myself. First up, uh, something from Sephora. I placed this on the very last day of the VIB sale. <laughs> I just had to get one more order in, uh, but Jo Malone came out with new fragrances and they popped up on the Sephora site, I think on the last day of the sale or the day before, but pretty, pretty close to like the end of the sale. And I was so happy to have gotten uh, this new fragrance on sale. So let's take a look. Here it is in a very little box. I suspected that these perfume bottles were small, but this is, this is really small. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so cute though. Let's see. So this is part of a new line that Jo Malone came out with for the summertime. I believe these are limited edition. I think there's like Blackberry and Bay, which is an existing fragrance that they kind of re-bottled into the, this design. Um, and then there are some new ones like this one that I purchased, which is the Elderflower Cordial Cologne. And I believe the inspiration for these bottles are like jam jars, which I thought was so sweet. I saw like a picture of it and they had it set up with like uh, like a blue and white like gingham check, almost like a picnic and there were some jam jars there. Anyway, I really love um, elderflower when I used to drink. Elderflower liqueur was my absolute favorite. I would add that to any kind of cocktail. So I was really excited, oh, how pretty. I was really excited when I saw elderflower. This is on the cap. Oh, that's so pretty. I don't know if that's on all of the caps or if they're different depending on which scent you purchased. Okay, I've never experienced a fragrance where I felt like I was smelling like a different kind of note with every single whiff, like a different, a different note would come at me. Something smells a little fruity, then I got something like kind of sweet, and then something like, like a little salt watery. Wow, that's really unique. And then and now it kind of smells unisex. Hold on, I have to look up <laughs> the notes for this. Powdery white petals of elderflowers picked from a hedgerow on a cloudless morning. Inspired by the British love of jam making, our perfumers have created five unique fragrances celebrating the fruit flavors of the British pantry. Powdery white petals. Okay. It definitely smells clean. There's like a cleanness to it. It's like sweet and clean all at the same time. Wow, so interesting. All right, so that's the Elderflower Cordial Cologne from Jo Malone. I'm glad I picked this up. It's different. It's a little different from what I have. And I love how sweet this bottle is. It is very, very like summery for sure. This next box is an order that I placed from um, Charlotte Tilbury. She came out with two new instant look in a palettes, which are her face palettes. And they're usually limited edition. I did not see any verbiage on the site that these were limited edition, but I'm not sure. In any case, I ordered both. All right, so here is the box that it comes in. So one is called Glowing Beauty and one is called Pretty Blushed Beauty. So let's go ahead and open Glowing Beauty. Oh, so the packaging is quite different from the original Instant Look in a Palettes, uh, which have that kind of maroon color plastic packaging. This has uh, like her rose gold uh, packaging. Here is Glowing Beauty. And I do plan on using these in an upcoming video. If you guys would like like a dedicated video to these palettes, definitely let me know. But this one looks really fun. And the eyeshadows definitely look different from her past instant look in a palettes. This blush also looks a little bit different. These kind of look similar. But anyway, if you guys want a dedicated video, I can compare this to the other new one and like the older instant look in a palettes. So that one is Glowing Beauty. And here we have Pretty Blushed Beauty. Same packaging. Ooh. So this looks a little bit uh, lighter in tone, better for fair skin. And the eyeshadows on top are really pretty. I like this peach over here. And this looks like possibly like a pressed glitter. So very, very interesting and definitely using in an upcoming video. But again, leave a comment down below if you want them like a dedicated video ASAP <laughs> on these palettes. I will do that for you. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the things that I've received in PR. This box uh, is from like a PR company, so I'm not sure who this is from. It is quite heavy though. And whatever's in here is like moving around. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I got a box from Spanx. Get red carpet ready with Charlotte Tilbury and Spanx. Our female founders want to empower you to look and feel your best this Oscars weekend. 
Oh, which was last weekend. Shade matched to you personally and designed to keep you looking flawlessly all day and night. Consider us your best supporting accessories for the big day and beyond. Oh, how cool. So this box opens up. I definitely need Spanx. Yes, like for sure, especially after this pandemic. I need a lot of help. So this is called Thin Stinks 2.0 High Waisted Mid Thigh Short. Ooh, oh wow. Yes, all of my problem areas. Awesome, smooth shape sculpt. I'm trying to see what size this is. Medium, they're very nice. I would order large <laughs> for myself. Oh, this is so awesome. So they sent that over. And then they also sent, oh, is this another pair? Let's see. Oh, this is called Encore. This is also a high-waisted mid-thigh short. It is seamless and lightweight, full coverage, less bulk, targeted sculpting, edge bonded side panels. Ooh, oh, I see. This looks a little bit like more serious. Wow, <laughs> I can't even stretch this. Wow, these seem really serious. I don't even know if I'd be able to like get this over my leg. Wow, I sure as heck I'm gonna try because like I said, I really need the help. <gasps> That's amazing, thank you so much Spanx. And then Charlotte Tilbury sent over a few things here. The Airbrush Flawless Foundation in four neutral uh, and also in three cool, that is great. And then the Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade three fair. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so, so much to Spanx and Charlotte Tilbury. This is amazing. Next up, we have a big, beautiful box from Tata Harper. Ooh, so excited. Super powerful, super gentle. I don't know if you guys can see the lettering. On, oh, maybe, oh, there we go. Super powerful, super gentle, uh, super kind, it says down here. I am all for super gentle. Nothing this powerful has ever been this gentle. Hmm. It looks like they're coming out with a new line called Super Kind. And this is the Softening Cleanser Barrier Fortifying. So perfect for me. If you guys don't know, I have eczema. So anything that is barrier fortifying is very, it's like music to my ears. Ooh, comes in a glass bottle. That's why it was so heavy. So this is the softening cleanser for sensitized skin. Ooh, there's a fortifying moisturizer as well. And that's what that bottle looks like. Ooh. And then there is a radiance mask. Ooh, that's very exciting. So this is what the mask looks like. Let's see if I can get a sense of the texture here. Oh, it looks like it would be light, but it's actually a very kind of dense texture. No fragrance, which is great. Perfect for sensitive skin. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Tata Harper. This is like perfect for my eczema prone skin. All right, let's see. This is also from a PR company. So let's see what they have sent me. Oh, wow, Judith Lieber. I think Judith Lieber just came out with a fragrance. Ah, uh, yes, here is a picture of it. You know, Judith Lieber will always and forever remind me of Sex in the City. Do you guys remember when Big bought Carrie that, uh, now I can't remember what it was, but it was a Judith Lieber um, handbag. <laughs> here is Judith Lieber, more is more packaging. Wow, okay. Swipe, mix, create, do you. One bottle, seven possibilities. So I think you can actually select if you want something to smell more gourmand, more citrusy or more floral. And then it tells you like at what hour of wear, like what notes are going to come through. Wow, okay, so here is the bottle. Okay, so there's like crystals around here. I think that's indicating like how, like which note we're getting here, the gourmand, the zest, or the floral. So two is zest. I think that's this little dial, and then I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna leave the other ones unflipped, and then I think when I spray, it'll come out of here. Hmm, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty citrusy. Let me try turning that one off, and then turning on the gourmand one, which has one rhinestone. That one kind of smells like coffee, vanilla. Ooh, ooh, I like that. Okay, that is number one. And then let me do number three, which is supposed to be floral. Ooh, 
that's a nice floral. It's very light. There's a little bit of sweetness there. Oh, how wonderful. So then I think you can turn on and off like whichever ones you want to like mix. Wow, this is really neat. Oh, and I really like that floral fragrance and the gourmand one. And the citrus one, I actually like them all. Wow. Thank you so much, this is really cool. All right, here we have something from another PR company, so I'm not sure what is in here. Oh, oh, the, so, oh, this is so nice. Augustinus Batter um, had like a little virtual class that I signed up for, but last minute I couldn't make it. And so I tried to get in touch with the PR company and just to let them know like I couldn't make it you know, if you don't want to send me the products that they were going to be talking about in the class, like, please don't, I understand. They're like, no, no, like, it's fine. We want you to play around with the products anyway. So, so nice of them. So I have this really awesome bag from, from them. The cream cleansing gel. Ooh, the body oil. Ooh, that's awesome. And then the rich cream. Oh, that's so amazing. Thank you so, so much to Augustinus Batter. I, and like so, so bummed that I missed this virtual class, but I just, I just couldn't make it. But thank you so much. And this box I think is from Lila B. I see this little B <laughs> right here. I think it's from them. Excited to share our new lovingly lip treatment oil with you. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this package with those thistles in there. Oh, how beautiful. And here is their lip treatment. I have like one of their tinted ones. I don't know if this is like a clear version of that. Oh, this is so pretty. A clean, clear, non-sticky gloss enhanced with the active nourishment of an anytime treatment. Hyaluronic acid, natural peptides, bilberry seed oil, omega-3 and 6, milk thistle extract, and vitamin E. Retails for 32, launching May 4th on lilab.com and sephora.com. So I believe that's on Tuesday? I think that's Tuesday. Oh, that's amazing. Wow. Thank you so much, Lila B. I'm always up for <laughs> a lip treatment. Next up, we have a box from Laura Mercier. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful card they put in there. Oh, it's so pretty. Primers are indispensable. They seal in skincare and protect the skin while preparing the face for makeup. Oh, neat. To highlight Pure Canvas Primer's water-based formula, we invite you to tap into your inner artist with a watercolor and canvas set. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> they actually sent over a watercolor set. Wow. Oh my goodness. I guess I am meant to color this in. <gasps> I have not watercolored in like 20 years. Wow. That is amazing. And then they sent over the Pure Canvas Power Primer, the Pure Canvas Primer Illuminating, and then the Pure Canvas Primer Protecting. And so all of these are water-based, they're all silicone free, which I think is amazing. Wow, thank you so much, Laura Mercier. What a fun package to receive. This is really, really cute. Thank you so, so much. Oh, and I have this very heavy box from Credo. The future of beauty is sustainable. Ah, sustainable packaging champions. List here of brands. I have something from Bloom Effects, Dutch Dirt Mask, fragrance free. And let's open this up. I'm very curious. Oh, how cute. Look at the inside. Beauty stems from dirt. I love those Dutch clogs. Ah, and this bottle is made from 100% recycled material. Okay, okay, very cool. And something from Inner Sense. This is a hair mask. Ooh, a bunch of stuff from Kier Weiss. Matte naturally, and the Cure Weiss um, products, I think the majority of them are refillable. And the refills come in this like paper packaging, which is fantastic. So they sent over a bunch of their Matte Naturally liquid lipsticks. Oh, cool, this is their new product. So KW Red, which is like the KW Red, it actually looks like this box, <laughs> the red. And then they also sent over Visionary and Lavish. Ooh, so cool. Something from Tata Harper. Um, the Water Lock Moisturizer with Skin Smoothing Peptides. This is Starflower and Snow Mushroom Ultra Hydrating Sleep Mask from, I don't know the brand, Wildcat, I think? Yes, that looks interesting. Ooh, Cream Blush from Alima Pure. Uh, pressed Eyeshadow from Alima Pure. Ooh, Aether Beauty. And this is, ooh, one of their highlighters. Their highlighters are so, so bright. Um, Axiology Lip to Lid Balmies. Oh, these look like little crayons. Zero Waste. 
all the way. Oh, cool. And then we've got a hyaluronic serum from Evolve Organic Beauty. You can tell this box is made from recycled paper. Jumpstart Smoothing Primer, ooh. Charged with triple antioxidant blend from EXA. Wow, that is fantastic. Thank you so, so much to Credo Beauty. This is wonderful. And what a great theme for this box, the sustainable packaging. That is really wonderful. Thank you so, so much. Next, we have a big box from Hourglass. Beautiful box from Hourglass. Ah, Velvet Story Lip Cream, matte rewritten. Velvet Story Lip Creams, introducing a novel take on matte. Velvet Story Lip Cream is a featherweight lip mousse that delivers a soft focus, blurring finish with a velvety texture for comfortable wear. Oh wow, it looks like there's six shades there. And those look like all the shades there. Oh my gosh, they sent over all six of these shades. Wow, how cool. I still have their um, cream to powder uh, Vanish cream blushes. So maybe I'll do a video on all of these new products from Hourglass. Let me know. Let me know what you think or if I should just incorporate it into like a new, uh, trying new makeup video. And then this big fragile box is from Laura Mercier. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this big makeup bag. It's so beautiful. Oh, I think there's something in here. Oh, wow. We have her caviar mascara. We have a caviar stick in Coco. We have a longwear lip liner in hazelnut tea and a blush color infusion in chai. I love these blushes. Oh, that's awesome. So that's what was in this makeup bag. And then there's two boxes in here. Laura Mercier reintroduces the iconic tinted moisturizer oil-free SPF 20 with the same great formula. Oh, and an expanded range of 20 shades. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so here is the tinted moisturizer oil free. This is in the shade 2N1 nude. It's like they're speaking directly to me. This coffee maker, it looks like a little single serving of one. Oh, I love these. Oh, oh my God, that is so, that is really, really cool. Wow, thank you. Let's, let's see what's in this box. Oh, stop it. <laughs> they sent over some bags of coffee and green tea. Oh my, oh wait, there's more, there's more down here. Oh, look at this, to keep your coffee or tea fresh. And then we have a double wall like glass mug from Bodum. Oh, how neat, wow. Wow, thank you so much, Laura Mercier. As you guys know, I mean, I'm sitting here with my coffee. As you guys know, I am like a coffee addict. So yeah, this, this is really incredible. Thank you so, so much. And I love coffee and my husband drinks green tea. It's like perfect. All right. We have a little box here from, I'm going to guess NARS because they always use really beautiful black boxes, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, awesome. This is the Sun Seeker Summer Solstice eyeshadow palette. It's the one that looks like this. Here's the box. So pretty. NARS packaging always is just phenomenal. Ooh, there is the lid and here are the shadows. Oh, how pretty. Now the shades don't look revolutionary. They look pretty reminiscent of some other NARS palettes, but I really love the NARS um, eyeshadow formula and this will be fun to play with. Yeah, I can definitely throw this into a try new makeup, right? Yeah, I have like foundations. Oh, totally. This is going to be great. Thank you so much, Nars. This is a beautiful palette. And then, oh, we have a package from Kogendo. Oh, you know, one of my favorites. One of my favorites. Let's see. Oh, it's their mineral eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh. I saw this on Instagram somewhere. I wish I could remember the feed. I, I don't know if it was Trend Mood or someone else, maybe it was Chic Profile Official. And I was definitely intrigued by the looks of this palette. There's eight different shades in there. Here's a picture of it. Eight different shades in there. Ooh, this is different for Kogendo. This packaging, really pretty. And then, oh wow, look at those. Look at those eight shades, really beautiful. Very, very Japanese, like Asian market type of eyeshadows. They look very soft with a very like soft shimmer to them. Ooh, that's very beautiful. Wow, thank you so much, Kogendo. This looks gorgeous. And I'm sorry I'm not <laughs> swatching any of these because I want to 
possibly take some pictures of them. So again, let me know if you want a dedicated video or if you want uh, me to make sure I include this in a trying to make a video in the future. I would love to do that. Um, oh, let's see, they have some, they have some information on this. Ah, so it's made up basically of four duos. You guys know I love a single shadow or a two shadow look. Um, it retails for $108. It is launching April 29th. So it's already launched. Gloss Film Powder Technology, which is the powder technology they use for um, like their press powder foundation. And it's so smooth and blurring. Really, really beautiful. Yeah, soft focus powders. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Kogendo. I'm really excited for this. And then one last very heavy package from Hong Kong. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what is in here though. Let's see. I guess the company name is Sloan. Here is the big box. Oh, I think it's um, I think it's a steamer. Oh yeah, with a little steamer mitt. Oh, how cool. Well, I do steam my clothes, but I have like one of those giant steamers on a, on like a rolly thing. That's from my like knitwear design days, but I don't have like a handy handheld steamer. Wow. Thank you so much, Sloan. Let's see what is in this smaller box here. Oh, it looks like a little sweater shaver. And as a former knitwear designer, I have maybe like 20, 20 of these, but this is awesome. Thank you so, so much for these goodies. It's really cool. Thank you. All right, that is it for this PR unboxing. Again, let me know if you want any dedicated videos to any of the products that I showed you today down below in my comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.